thing on our next item. And if you'll check your catalog under lot 200, you'll see it's a white jasmine mink. Oh, and I'll start the bidding at $100. A bargain for such a splendid garment. Do I hear 100? Who we'll started $100? Just $100? Go for it. Go for it. Do I have 100? I wish I had 100. 100 in the back. 100 go to 150. 150. 150. 150 I have. 150 go to 2. We'll go to 200 now for the white mink. 200. 200, thank you. 200 go to 300. 300. 300 I have. Now you're talking. 300 looking for 350. Anybody at 350? 350. 350 in the back. Oh. Now, ladies and gentlemen, 350 for the white jasmine mink. Surely it's worth twice that much. 700 dollars. 700. Do I hear 750? 700 I have. Do I have 750? No. Well, going once, twice. 750. 750. Do I hear 8? 750. Looking for 8. 750 I have. 750. Once, twice. Sold to the young lady in the back. Seven hundred and fifty dollars left over two hundred. The white jasmine mink. You've got a steal. Wow. <laughs> Can you believe that? <laughs> Go claim your prize. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we will be going back to item number one seventy-two in your book. <laughs> well, if you'd have told me this morning that we would have walked out here with a jasmine mink, I would have told you you lost your marbles, right? Well, this is Atlantic City. Everybody can realize his dreams here. Yeah. <laughs> or. Lose their shirts. Uh. Ladies and gentlemen, the next You'll just fill this up. Coat's all yours. 172, the trumpet with case. It's antique. It's circa 1900 in New Orleans. We're going to open the bidding at $100. We'll go 100, 100 and a half. 100, go to 150, 150. Go to, one, go to 200, 200 and a half. 200, go to 250, 250. I got it. Oh, let's go. Listen, why don't we uh, stick around a little longer? Maybe we can find some more things for a great price, you know? Oh, yeah. Haven't you two bought it? Spend enough money for one afternoon? <laughs> Really? Let's go back to the hotel. I'm exhausted. Well, I think Felicia and I, we're just going to stick around for just a little while longer. You go ahead back, if you like. Okay. Listen, honey, I well, thought maybe um, over there. Oh, so. it's her. Who? Who? The woman that sold the mate. She looked in the door. You're going to have to excuse him. He just wanted to find out if the mink was really fake or not. Well, why don't we go back to the hotel and wait for him there? Uh, I suppose we should. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the fifth auction. Everyone, ladies and gentlemen, I know that. Uh, it's Damon, sir. I'm sorry to bother you again, but something's come up. I thought you'd want to know about it right away. Well, what happened? I got a call from Tuffy earlier. One of his waterfront contacts spotted somebody snooping around down by the ADZ warehouse. Did you check it out? I'm down there now. All right, who was the intruder? Sean Donnelly. If it had been anybody else, I'd have handled the situation myself. But no, no. The circumstances. No. Yeah, I... yeah. Leave Donnelly to me. <laughs> Captain Lewis is in charge of the quarter main case. But, you know, there should be some way that I can exert a little influence and put a little heat on our prime suspect. Why would somebody like Donnelly be interested in our organization? Donnelly is a magnet for danger. He just loves it. And again, he's a close friend of Anna Devane's. He may be helping her out. Well, no matter what the motives, we've got to get him out of the way. All right, I'll wait on it. Is that it? I found out that Duke and Angel got toughy drunk. Did he say anything? Apparently only that you and I were meeting secretly in Atlantic City. Damn, now Duke knows something's up. What do you want me to do? Get Tuffy out of town immediately. I already did that. Good. This is no time for slip-ups. We're too close to fulfilling all of our goals, and I'm not going to let anything or anybody stand in our way. 65, 65 70, 70 in the back. 75 80. When does my mink go on sale? Oh, it's already been auctioned off. What? Yeah, about half an hour ago. The young woman expressed an interest in it earlier this afternoon, came back and bought it. Went for about $750, so after commission, you should you clear... You told me it wasn't going to go on the block until 3. 
Well, you know, schedules change. I mean, what can I say? How do I get my money? Go right up to the clerk up there. I'll be happy to give it to you. You sold my white jasmine mink a little while ago. A lot number 200. I'm here for my money. Oh, yes, ma'am. Here you are, $750 less commission. Please sign here that you've received the cash. Nice doing business with you. You guys can sell my minks anytime. Hi. How'd it go? Okay. Well, all this excitement has really gotten to me. I am going to take a nap. See you later. Okay. I know she's got the information that we want. How do we get it? I don't know. But I know we can't go back to poor Charles unless we have proof to clear your name. Well, then the best thing to do is just to get some hard evidence, no matter what it takes. That means you're not afraid anymore? I'm terrified. But I got us into this mess, and I intend to help get us out. That's what I like to hear. I just hate sitting here waiting for her to show up. We don't even know where she is. We don't know how to find her. I got an idea, okay? I'll tell you on the way. Wait, I have to tell Edna we're leaving. Come in! Edna, Frisco and I are going out for a walk. Would you watch the mink for me? Oh, of course, dear. Have fun. Okay, thank you. Bye. Bye. 